In this video, we're going to take a look at Link. So let's begin with an introduction to Link. Um, first, imagine that you're building a new game in C-sharp with lots of characters to manage in your database. Um, the question is, how would you access them all then? What if you need to apply a filter? And what if you need to format each character name? So the solution would be to use Link. Link works for complex selections and transformations. It works on local and remote data sources. Each selection and transformation is called a query. Link gives us new syntax and methods to write them. So our learning objectives for this class is how to import the Link features to C Sharp how to run link queries on data sets, how to identify method and query syntax. And we're also gonna learn basic operators such as select where and from. So before we jump into all the fun stuff like syntax and methods, let's import link. Okay, let's import the features into our code. So to use link in a file, you need to add this line here to the very top so this one here okay using system dot link so oftentimes we use link with generic collections like we just learned list okay so you may have you, you may see both namespaces imported into a file so you would have this to import list using system collections generic and this to import link using system.link. So every link query returns either a single value or an object of type i enumerable t. So i enumerable t works with for each loops, just like arrays and list, and you can check its length with count. Since the single value type is not always known, it's common to store a query's return value in a variable of type var. Okay, so var is just implicitly a typed variable. We let the C sharp compiler determine the actual type for us, like in this example. Okay, so we have string. Um, we have the string names here, Tiana, Duena, Helena, and then we have short names as var. In this case, short names is actually of type IE numer numerable string, but we don't need to worry about that as long as we have var. Okay? So in link, you can write queries in two ways. You can use the query syntax, or you can use the method syntax. For a single operator's queries, use method syntax, and for everything else, use query syntax. Again, for single operator queries, use method syntax, and for everything else, use query syntax. So query syntax looks like this. It looks like a multi-line sentence. If you have used SQL, you might have seen some similarities, or you might see some similarities. Okay, so it will look like this. Um, method syntax just looks like plain old C sharp. We we make method calls on the collection that we're querying. Okay. And it will look like this. So this brings us closer to taking a look at where and the select. So in link, where and select show up as both keywords and method calls. They're generally called operators. Every operator, sorry, every developer has a personal preference between the syntax, but you should be able to read both. Okay, so here we have the basic query syntax, okay? The from operator 
the from operator here declares a variable to iterate through the sequence, okay? So from h in heroes. The where operator picks elements from the sequence, okay? If they satisfy the given condition, which is here. So the condition is written like the conditional expressions in an if statement. So the condition is here. H length is less than eight. The select operator determines what is returned for each element. In this case, it's just the element itself. Okay, so the from and select operators are required. The where is actually optional, okay? But the from and select are mandatory. You must have them. In basic method syntax, each query operator is written as a regular method call. So the where operator is written as the method where, which takes a lambda expression as an argument. You can see right here. So lambda expressions are a quick way to write a method. In this case, the method returns true if h is less than, the method returns true if h is less than eight characters long. Okay, so where, where, here, where, calls this lambda expression for every element in heroes. So if it returns true, then the element is added to the resulting collection. So to transform each element in a sequence, like writing them in uppercase or lowercase, you can use the select operator. In method syntax, is written as the method select, like this, which takes a lambda expression, okay? So select, and then here's your lambda expression. So h to upper. So we can combine select and where in two ways. We can use separate statements, or you can chain the expressions. We use two variable names and two statements. You can tell that there are two separate statements by counting the semicolons, okay? So here we go. One, two, okay. And that's how you can tell that the two separate statements. Or you can chain the expressions. We use one variable in this case and one statement, so only one statement, okay? So a lot of people like this because this is much easier to read and write. All right, so this brings us to the end of this PowerPoint. Your next step would be to finish the quiz. Um, I have also given you the PowerPoint without the video files so that you can refer to each slide of the PowerPoint and that should help you as you go through your quiz.